road testing this streaming software and my setup. So go easy on me, guys. And also, I'm going live at like two o'clock in the afternoon in England. So I'm not even sure how many of you guys are going to be online. But if you want to uh, chat to me, then um, chat to me. <laughs> I'll just put in the box here. Chat here, guys. Um, <laughs> right. So today, what I wanted to talk about was um, the unfinished pyramid uh, in, in Egypt, because it's something that is like, it's not new information, it's it's known about. But nobody, again, nobody's talking about this um, kind of hidden and disused um, pyramid site. Oh, Kaylee's here. Well, she's always online, aren't you, Kaylee? So that welcome. Welcome to my live. Oh, no, you are coming in. Oh, you're all in here. Oh, this is great. <laughs> amazing okay well it seems to be uh automatically showing okay it's automatically showing uh all of the comments so that's that's gonna be that's gonna be fun <laughs> oh my god right well anyway the unfinished pyramid of zoyet i don't know if that's how you say it let's just get into it let's just get into it so uh this pyramid is um it's very old it's dated by the mainstream to be third or fourth dynasty so kind of in line with all of the main pyramids of giza it is on a little map let's just show let's just show you this little map here so you've got cairo and you've got giza and then you just down here here with the red mark is the, where the unfinished pyramid is abu Ghraib and saqqara is just like a little bit further down um so that's the location. You can't go to this pyramid today because it is off it is off limits because it is inside a military enclosure. So there's literally nobody sees it today. Um, but we have got some documentation um, from, okay, maybe I should turn off the, there we go. There we go. <laughs> right. So let's just get into it. So this pyramid, this is an old uh, dynastic um, pyramid complex. There's not a lot left of it today. It's mainly just the megalithic basement, like the underground. But it's very interesting because it is there's some, it's nothing like any of the other pyramids that are in Giza. It's got a very bizarre um, inside, and I shall tell you for why. Okay, let's look. Let's just start looking at some of the images. So it was kind of here. We go. Let's just show this in the stream. Um, and we'll take out the, we'll take out. I beg your pardon, guys. We're uh, we're we're, we're working it out as we're going along. I'm trying to I'm trying to live stream here. <laughs> here we go. Okay, right here we go. So this is a photo. This is a photo from back in like 1900. This is like 100 years ago. Um, this is a photo at the very bottom of this pyramid complex. It is made entirely of pink quartz granite which is crazy because it was literally taken from Aswan quarry like 500 miles to entirely line the bottom of this pyramid which is weird because if it was purely for aesthetic reasons you could use almost anything but very specifically they wanted this pink quartz granite and here is the most unusual part about this whole pyramid complex is because look at this like it's like a literal bathtub that has been found in the floor so here it is open. It's like a circular, no, like an oval shape. Um, and it's quite deep. And take out the annoying cable dangling from the mic. Well, Susan, is that better for you? I have to plug, I have to plug my headphones in somehow. Um, right, there we go. So, um, so we've got this bathtub at the bottom, which is quite deep. And when the uh the Egyptologist first found the site, it was covered um and it was sealed shut uh but again in usual shape i've never seen anywhere in egypt where this kind of sarcophagus is built into the floor with a lid everywhere else the boxes have been kind of separate to to, to the structure so that was interesting um maybe we'll we'll take that slide away next slide please so here we go here is uh more like an artist's impression of what we can see today it's like a kind of hammerhead shape in the ground, huge, 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 like slope coming down again, pink granite. And then you can see where like a little bit to the right, there's this like essentially a granite bathtub in like a weird oval shape. Interesting. Um, let's, let's take another little picky from, let's show another picky from 
So again, this is this is a very, very old photograph. Let's do side by side. We'll go side by side. Um, this I think is the lid that was gonna go. That is a mega massive lid. Again, made of this like rose quartz um granite from Avon. And you can see behind as well just how big these megalithic um what we're talking blocks are that kind of make up the very very base of internal structure of this pyramid um the as we the pyramids get later the blocks get smaller and smaller and this is i just found it look super interesting um let's we show one more image here here we go and here's like the reverse image of the you can just see how huge these blocks are um and it's cut a lot of it's cut right into the bedrock as well like smooth move like loads of places in Egypt you can see like the chisel marks in the bedrock where they've been cutting away uh just not so much here this is like seriously smooth um bedrock um I read that some of the Egyptologists were like questioning how they cut it because it was seriously smooth um geez that's thick says Brentwood yeah it is it's like these it's, it's this massive and again if you've just joined uh we're talking about the um the unfinished pyramid of Zoyet. And you can't visit this place today. This place is unvisitable by humans because it is in a military compound. They've built a military place all around it. So um you you can't access it today. So we've we've we're only got to work off these off these images. Um so we'll just go back here to this to this like bathtub. So there's an unusual sarcophagus, like a bathtub in the middle. And you can see on, on the lid, look at those nubs. Look at those nubs, smooth like butter. Exactly. Um, it's a very fascinating sight. So let's just go. Um, let's just go like this. Okay. Um, oh no, I've put the wrong. Bear with me again. I've put the wrong. We'll just hide that. We're going to go. <laughs> We're doing this all live. Okay. Um, okay. So this is the guy talking who discovered um, the site and was like excavating it. He was talking about the weird bathtub in the floor. And he said, while this search was continuing on the north side, almost in the center of the west side, I discovered an object of an entirely new form. A large oval vat made of pink granite polished like a mirror uh, with a depth of 1.5 uh, centimeters one meter, five centimeters. Um, and it's carved out of one of the blocks of the pavement, which occupies the bottom of the pit. Uh, it said that the, um, yeah, they, they, they um, spread all over the lid was a layer of lime. And then over the lime was a thick bed of clay. And then on top of that, there were limestone blocks, so literally like encasing this bathtub. And when they carefully like prized it and took all the lime layer off guess what was inside absolutely nothing absolutely nothing was sealed inside so if it was a sarcophagus as originally intended why did they seal it up why did you seal the the vat the tub i'm gonna call it the tub why did you seal it um if it wasn't ready if it was an unfinished pyramid why did you seal it with nothing inside and if you had stolen the body, why would you take the time to seal it with lime and with clay? Just something doesn't really add up in that way. I did read that there was like a theory that the um, the pyramid is not unfinished. It is just that something happened to it. Like it was it was damaged, and the only thing that survived is the base and the floor. Um, so. It's interesting. I'd love to know in the comments uh, what you're thinking. Like, what are your thoughts on on this? Um, so uh, it says, uh, bu, 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 bu. "Nope, we've already done this one, Susan. So we've got to keep um, keep moving." Okay, let's just show a picture of the of the vat as well. This is like an artist depiction of the, of the lid. Look at the nubs. It looks like something out of a freaking sci-fi. It's very weird, and it's very weird that there was that there was nothing inside. Um, okay. Here we go. Let's look at some some more of these things. So again, this is like a diagram of um of kind of what you can see today. Huge. They dug deep, 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 deep into the earth. Um, and an incredible, an incredible slant. Jason Fisher says a nuclear blast took it down. 
Um, nuclear blast took it down. Nuclear from what? Where and why and whence? Um, do you come to that conclusion, Jason? Interesting. Um, okay. Let's have a look. And this is, yeah, this is incredible. This is totally hidden history. Like if you, I, I went all over Egypt. I didn't know about this because we were not allowed to go to it today. Um, okay, here is another image of, God, I'm just zipping it around. I wish I could go, like you can't even pay to go to it today because it's it's in a military zone. So it's just like not something that we could, that we could get to very easily. Okay, here we go. Here's like a little, very unusual. Um, you've got this entire pyramid, what would have been the pyramid over the top of it. And just a deep, deep, deep cavern with this huge granite floor with a weird tub at the bottom. Now, um, nothing really went on. Uh, there was like a world, world war one happened and the people who were excavating, one of the guys died in world war one. So like nothing really continued to happen there until the 1950s when it was actually used as a movie set for a Hollywood movie. And so you can see it, um, very briefly, you can see the outside of it. Like they, they filled it with extras and they shot, um, Oh, what was the name of the film? Something about Pharaohs. It's got Joan Collins in. So if you Google that, um, you can actually see just for a split second uh, what it was like. And then really, since the 1950s, nothing's happened to, to this place. Um, it's kind of just fallen into total, total disrepair. Um, let's have a look at what you guys are saying. A mile high tsunami. Um, that's possible. I mean, we, we, um, as always, I've got to always look for the the evidence. But just looking at this stuff, just look at that tub. I've never seen anything like this in Egypt. Um, nothing in any pyramid, like built into the floor. Oh, and what was interesting as well? Let's just let's just roll back to the tub here. Um, when the guy had taken off, let's see, is this the one? Is this the one? Um, okay, the lid was looted in plaster and it was with real emotion that I put myself into a position to lift it. All the precautions were made because the contents could be most precious, but once more well, I was deceived when inside the tank I uh, found it completely empty. But I also noticed that the sides of the walls were lined with a black band that was 10 centimeters in height. So the whole thing is one meter five centimeters and 10 centimeters in height. There was a black band from where it had previously had some kind of liquid inside. Um, and it had been hypothesized that this tank was an unused sarcophagus. He didn't think so. So the original Egyptologist that was like looking at this site didn't think that this was um, a place for a dead body. And the weird, um, the care that it was protected and it proves that it contained something, but then there was a blackish deposit uh, indicates that the nature of this content um, and they, people, someone had taken a lot of precaution to conceal it under loads of huge limestone blocks. So it's just, there is a mystery afoot here. And I just wanted to bring it to your guys' attention because, again, it's something that's like, it's known about in Egypt, but it's kind of been stuck in time. Um, and if you, if you, you can try and see it on Google Maps, there's literally nothing of the original pyramid complex left. It's just the, um, the descent in and um really sadly it's been full of rubbish it is literally used as a rubbish rubbish site now um oh the black band could have been bootman interesting um yeah officials are still claiming that copper chisels made everything including the um including the the structure let me just take you back to some of these some of these pictures cool hat Thanks. Oh yeah, I forgot I was wearing a hat. I got too excited to come online. <laughs> anyway, um, the copper chisels um, officially were supposed to have made this. Um, and again, similar to Giza, there is absolutely no inscriptions inside. There's nothing on the lid of the tub. There's nothing inside the tub. There's nothing that lines anything. There's no inscriptions. Um, there is some graffiti, like, um, again, nothing inscribed, but there's some hieroglyphs, which they think date, the hieroglyphs date to the, there's an argument over whether it's the fourth or the third dynasty. So regardless, the first people to um, graffiti on this place, super, super old. So this place is old. Um, I'm loving what you guys are saying about this. Um, 
do, 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 do. Um, I want to go back to that. That let's have a little look here. Something happened back in the day. Well, something definitely did happen back in the day. But um, yeah, this site is phenomenal. Super interesting. Let's go back to the back to this here. Um, then you can just see how huge these these granite quartz are. Um, that was brought in, and I am so annoyed that this is not a place that um that you can go and see and look around. And the fact that this entire thing is filled with rubbish, it would take a massive feat now to um to pull it out and to clean it up. Um, I wonder if the lid's still down there, or if the lid's been taken elsewhere. There's not a lot of information about this site. Um, when I do go back to Egypt, I'm definitely going to be asking around, like on the ground, what happened. Um, who, who, who has a jurisdiction? Who would we? What would we need to do to clear this out? Because, because I think it's just it's gutting. I'm gutted that this is just filled with rubbish, and you can't even visit it. In fact, like scientists and archaeologists can't even visit it because it's it's now on a military base which is really sad. Um, if you guys have any information, um, then let me know. Um, someone, Ryan says, okay, let's have a look at, I'm going to throw in some of your comments in here now. Okay. Liquid in the tub sounds technological. Maybe it destroyed itself like the power plant meltdown. I mean, maybe. I, I don't think that was a sarcophagus for a dead body. I don't know what else it could be. Anyone's guess right now. Um, let's have a look um what are we saying in here oh my god there's so many i didn't think so many people would be online at like two o'clock in the afternoon welcome um why is the military there I, I don't know i don't think it's like a conspiracy that they put the military around it i mean maybe but um they it's now just that uh, it's a military base on top of this place now so full screen with the pictures please <laughs> all right i'll whack it on the full screen there we go. You can really see. So these photos here are from old and like a like hundred years ago. This was when they were being excavated. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I personally don't, um, I don't feel like the, the, the old, old, old pyramids, like the Giza ones. I don't feel like they were tombs having been inside tombs myself and having crawled around these places. Don't feel like tombs. They felt functional in a way of some sort that we're still trying to work out collectively thousands of years later um global have i looked into the global mud floods oh i'm trying to i'm trying to catch your comments and put them on on um america's waking up right now well good morning america good morning we're talking about the unfinished pyramid uh in egypt which is now unfortunately off limits so we can only hypothesize but um Let's have a little look here. Thanks for thanks for all joining me, guys. I'm sorry. I'm 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 really I'm trying to stream, and I'm going to try and like stream like once a month or however much you want. Um, but I'm working out. I'm working out how to use this software. So um, I have a very strange phenomena. What's happening? Look at those nubs. Yes, um, these nubs are like definitely lifting nubs. Again, um, makes me think if I was just going to hypothesize it. Yeah, this this tub, the lid of the tub was, I mean, it was a heavy lid, very heavy lid. And if it, the nubs for taking it on and off and on and off, um, why would you need to take something on and off and on and off if it was just for a one-time burial? Surely you just need to like, I don't know. We're just, we're just roughing around some ideas here. Um, but yes. I don't know. I don't think they provided electricity. Someone's just asking here, what do you think they provided? Do you think that, I don't think, I think that there was, um, there's energies, there's electromagnetic energy. There's, there's different energies in the world that we just aren't really aware of, are we? Um, like you wouldn't be aware of Wi-Fi, would you? Unless you had the technology to capture the data from it and understand it and then, and then use that Wi-Fi signal to do something unless you were aware of that you wouldn't know how to use it and i think that there's probably like a lot of different energies in the earth and maybe energies that were the earth was giving off ten thousand years ago no no it sounds a bit woo woo but i really think that it's it it's it only sounds woo woo because it's a technology that we don't fully understand the concept of 
It's like finding a Wi-Fi signal and we can all be sitting there going, what does this do? Well, connected to a computer and you can see. So I think that more than likely pyramids were kind of harvesters, harvesters of energy. Um, it's as far as I've got. <laughs> um, let's have a look. Is nubs a British word? I don't know. Maybe. Nubs. Nubbin. They look like nubs. We'll just call them nubs. Little like, well, what would you call them? What's, what, what, what are the other names of those little? It's a nub. It's a nub, isn't it? It's a nub. Um, how did, okay, interesting. Um, how did the ancients know to sit down and design these gigantic rock mountains? I mean, that's the question. Imagine being the, imagine being the person that came up with a pyramid. Guys, I've got an idea. Hear me out. Hear me out. We're going to get loads of rock from 500 miles away. We're going to build it. No, I'm talking big, Simon. I'm talking big. Like, imagine being the person. <laughs> and then you get absolutely no credit for it in history because nobody knows who you were. Um, okay. All right. Now I'm just now I'm just chatting to you guys at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. But cool. I just wanted to put this out there. I wanted to show you guys what I found um, because... I think it's awesome. I think it's, and I think that if we could get uh, into the the mainstream um, a little bit more, that there is like some serious history from human civilization that is being, it's not being kept. It's not being preserved. It's being used as a trash can. And I think that that's really disrespectful, especially considering how insane the quality of the stone cutting is down there. It's, it is top, 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 top. Um, um yeah well thanks guys for joining i'm just double checking here um yeah we couldn't we could not replicate what was down there again today and i think it needs to be studied it needs to be lidar scanned even just for historical record clear it preserve it please <laughs> because um it's just beautiful it's beautiful and it breaks my heart that um <laughs> that it's not being preserved <laughs> Uh, okay cool well thank you very much for joining me I guess um uh this all um I guess this is it I'll be back next week maybe with a, a bit of a smoother live um but this has been fun a little bit of stress so uh over and out nice to see you all welcome to, you you've taken my streaming virginity all of you guys this was my v plates <laughs> I shall be back um, now I've got to work out how to turn this off. <laughs>